Hi, hello everyone, this is Acervox with what I believe should be the finale in uh, the arena game. So w the winner's already been decided, but we've decided to put our, all of our efforts into the best thugs we could make for one last round, just for fun. So um, looks like I didn't do well with the best thug I could see, but let's introduce them since I'm, of course, first to fight. Um, so we'll introduce their opponent first. So we've got a gut queen, seraphic bombshell, the Morrigan queen. Uh, Gift of Kurgi. I'll look at this. Oh, I'm looking at 30 fear. That's pretty good. Flying, the Thrail, Storm Immunity. Yeah, I can see. Apparently, the person who used this last time, though, got eaten by a horror in two turns. So, nice. You start, you can spam horrors and, yeah, nice. Boots of Quickness, the, uh, Soul, or, no, no, this is the Damage Reversal, uh, armor. Not Blood Vengeance, damage reversal, which means that if they fail the check, they don't take, the person who got hit doesn't take damage. It's just fully reflected. Uh, Lightning Bolt thing, the Axe Rulership, Mage Bane, yeah, pretty solid. Oh, it's tainted. Didn't know that. Um, and then the Fry Rack, which is just a good enough all by its own. Excellent, excellent item. Um, you know, so this is the best that Fomoria could come up with, and I can kind of see um it's pretty good they also start with a bunch of morgans so that kind of gets on top of any pokemon strats pretty quickly would would kill a bunch of imps dead bugs and the like um in addition they're just going to fly over and instantly kill what i sent in which is spaceman spiff <laughs> the centaur health hunt i appreciate all your help so i created the best build that i could possibly make <laughs> with uh with the help of the other players who forged some items that i couldn't um uh so this is this is my strategy i've got four ice lances he's gonna bless himself and then he's gonna charge well spiff you did your best uh next up we've got that horrifying morgan queen versus oh that's a cool sprite inari the kami of fertility which i guess yoni's god uh, Shadow Brands, Katata the Spirit Helmet, Elemental Armor, Boots of the Messenger, Girdle of Might, Lifelong Protection. Pretty solid. Don't think it's gonna do enough. You never know. I mean, she does have a fair bit of shock resistance. Yeah, they're still back here, too. I mean, you know, the imps are piling up. Ooh, but now things get serious and the Morgan Queen just kicks her ass. Oh yeah, she's got defense skill 40. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. Okay, so then up next is uh, the Morgan Queen against McCone and whatever McCone could come up with. Which is uh, none other than Nogluchus Axelson, the Tetrakire. Sharp as tooth, the best shield breaking weapon in the game I'm told because poison works on shields. Uh, the summit, excellent. Uh, shield of Fate, so even if he gets hit, he can take one hit a turn without taking any ill effects. Cutlass of Piercing, just a solid thing. Crown of the Fire King, uh, Spirit Helmet, Boots of Quickness, and Lifelock Protection. So he's got a bit of the Pokemon strat going if things go long. He's up against a Gortide Horror, though, and he's already cleared out all the Morrigans. Oh, went over there, one shot her. Went over there, kill her again. Oh, I blasted her. Oh. He's just going over there with the summit and ending her over and over. So congratulations to the Tetra car. Uh, up next, they are against Hinnom, who sent in Azazel, the Grigori, uh, with a giant sword and a mind shield. I get the feeling that Hinnom also didn't have the best research either. Uh, you know, you see him. Yeah, the cosmetics of the Grigori. That's pretty good. And a demonic rune of fire. I just, what's this one? Corruptor. Oh, okay. Yeah, special stuff. A much more useful chassis in a uh, in not the arena, and not against you know the Tetrakai himself, Knucklecus. See so, yeah, this one? Yeah, I think he's just gonna. Yep, just got hit by the summit and died. Um, no, it looks like the Kellis of Piercing was enough. Okay, and lastly we have Macone Nuglucus versus Ree. Crown of Overmight, Giant Sword, Axe of Rulership, oh, that, that the arm loss one, it's pretty good against the four-armed master. Oh, and maximum, uh, maximum Pokemon strat. We'll see how it goes. 
We're going to be able to keep him inundated with chaff while he buffs up. And we'll see if he can avoid getting hit and chop, chop some arms off. No, absolutely not. Nagaluk has just hit him in the face. Dead. So, congratulations to the true winner of the arena game, uh, you know, Nagalukas Axelson. Uh, runner up, though, for Moria with the 10, 12, 11 wins or something like that. I'll see you next time in next series I record. <laughs>